Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and if you find your wireless CarPlay or Android AI Box adapter not launching onto your car's CarPlay display, here are a few tips to try and fix this quite common issue. So the first thing is to try and disconnect and reconnect the adapter cable. Simply remove the USB cable and reinsert it. Sometimes the adapter can throw a wobbly and choose not to connect to the adapter. If your car system can't reinstate the connection again, the adapter simply will not connect. Removing the cable and reinserting it again whilst your system is already up and running should repeat the repairing process more successfully. Next is to check your CarPlay USB port for any fluff or any dirt that might be inside it. Car interiors can be a dusty place so if you find your adapter isn't powering on or connecting correctly try simply blowing air into the USB port to remove any dust or fluff that might have been caught in your CarPlay port in your car. Next is to try a different connecting cable. The cables that come shipped with these adapters sometimes aren't too great. Some might not work out of the box and some cables might gradually fail over time. Even if your adapter shows that it is powered on the adapter itself, the data connection in the cable might be flawed. So swap out the cable for a better 3.1 USB cable that does both power and data transfer. And this simple tip might make your CarPlay adapter work again with your car stereo. Next is to force reboot your car system. Sometimes the wireless CarPlay adapter will not sync with the car system if it isn't already connected to it. After that time has passed, the car system can just stop connecting to the adapter. At this point, usually a restart of the car is needed here. But if you're already on the road and you can't pull over and stop the car, you can simply reboot the car stereo. On my VW system specifically, this just involves holding down the system's power button for a few seconds, and then the whole system will restart. After restarting, the adapter can repeat the pairing process and connect to the system. Also check the manual to make sure that the adapter comes with or without a home screen. Some adapters like this CarLinkit 5.0 wireless adapter simply doesn't have a home launch screen when you first connect it. So it's very easy to think that this adapter may be broken. This isn't the case though. Just by looking at the adapter, you'll see that it is powered up on the display indicator. So if you simply pick up your iPhone and go into its Bluetooth settings screen, you should see the adapter's Bluetooth ID appear. If you don't, turn off Bluetooth and turn it back on again and wait a few seconds to see it if it appears then. Simply connect to this Bluetooth ID and you should then be asked to connect to CarPlay. After confirming, you will then see CarPlay show up wirelessly on your car's display. If you've already connected to Bluetooth and the adapter's still not showing up, try searching for the adapter's Wi-Fi network. Make sure that both your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your iPhone and if your wireless CarPlay adapter doesn't show up on your car system try connecting Bluetooth first and if that is connected and nothing still doesn't show go into your Wi-Fi settings and look for a new Wi-Fi name popping up from the adapter. Select it to connect and if you're asked for a password you can try these passwords here and see if you can connect. Once connected you should be asked to connect to CarPlay then confirm it and it will then display CarPlay on your car stereo screen. If this doesn't work go into your Wi-Fi settings again, select that same Wi-Fi network for the adapter and toggle the auto connect on and off. Sometimes that can work too. If the dongle doesn't work at all and that none of these tips work for you and if it never has worked, it might just be that your wireless CarPlay adapter simply isn't compatible with your car's CarPlay system. You can either check for a firmware update for the specific dongle that might enhance the compatibility for your vehicle or you can just send it back if you're within your return window and look at buying an alternative wireless adapter. If you've bought an auto kit adapter like the CarLink kit, you can simply try an alternative adapter from something like Autocast or similar. And if you aren't using auto kit adapter at all, try using a CarLink kit adapter instead. Both adapter brands and their OEMs run different system codes with different compatibilities. So it is possible that the alternative might work for you. Whereas buying another adapter with the same code base will just give you the same results. If your adapter did work before, and a stop now, it may be faulty or broken. You can try attempting to use my guide up here on rolling back its firmware or reach out to the maker's support team for help recovering your wireless CarPlay adapter. Okay, I hope all these tips have been helpful for you. If it has, give us a thumbs up and comments are always welcome if you want to share your own tips on how you got your wireless CarPlay adapter to work in your specific vehicle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.